happy Friday. We're one week away from Christmas and we are continuing our discussion with local chambers on shopping small for the holidays. So with us today, we have the Metropolis Chamber and we have Kathy with us and she's gonna be having the discussion about shopping small for the holidays and the importance on our local economy with Trisha again today. Hi, Kathy. Welcome to our Shop Small for the Holiday series with our feature Friday. We're excited to wrap up with the Metropolis Chamber. You know, Legions Bank has had a motto for several years, and that's Legions Loves Local, and we support the Shop Small uh, every year, and the Small Business Saturday, and then the Shop SI has been going on for a few months. So, just want to talk to you today and inform all of our viewers on what they can do to support our small businesses in Metropolis. Okay. Is that the question? <laughs> yes, yes. Let us know. What, what, what can they do to get down there on Market Street? And I know that's not the only street, but it's one of my favorites. Um, it's a little dangerous when I'm down there with my pocketbook shopping away, but uh, what are some of the small businesses doing this holiday season with the pandemic that we're experiencing? How are they still catering with their services and their products to the community? Okay. Most of the businesses, the retail shops, have um, found that they can mail packages to people who want to purchase from them, so they're doing the online sales. Um, our local restaurants are trying to do the pickup um, curbside. And then we do have some of the restaurants that are still available to go in for in-person dining. Uh, we have a coffee shop in Metropolis that's done very well. Um, we have, of course, our uh, other shops. We have a lot of antique shops and um, I guess you'd call secondhand merchandise shops on Market Street. We also uh, sell the Metro dollars. They're five dollars each and I cannot believe how many people have actually started purchasing them. We had one business that purchased eleven thousand dollars worth of them and they're giving them out to their customers to encourage people to shop Metropolis. Um, it's so easy for people to get in their car when you're 10 minutes away from Paducah, unfortunately. And, um, you know, they're desperate right now. We need people to make sure that we eat local and that we shop local. I agree wholeheartedly. So, Kathy, let's talk to everyone a little bit more about those Metro dollars. Remind me, am I right in saying that those are dollars that can be utilized at chamber businesses? That is correct. Um, the chamber businesses will accept the Metro dollars. We actually have a list of them. Um, I think there's about 20. I just um, printed out someone that, that I'm getting ready to sell in about 30 minutes. Um, they use them just like a gift certificate. Being that they're $5 increments, maybe they just want to have lunch at a local restaurant and they are able to use that. Uh, we also, um, you know, we have our clothing stores, we have a clothing store, women's clothing store, and those both accept it. We have um, a, a spa massage lady that will accept them. So we, we have a lot of members that do accept them. Uh, we just need people to continue to buy them. And, and I'm amazed at how many have bought them this year. Well, I think that's wonderful and, and a great way to continue to provide opportunities to impact the community that we live in. That's great. And you talk about the spa. I think I know where you're, where you're mentioning and they not only have services that they provide, they have some really great products and correct me if I'm wrong, Kathy, but I believe they custom make those products yes. in their store. They sure do. And, and if you look, she'll have a special. Um, Erica is one of our, Erica Keys is one of our chamber members and she's gonna be an officer next year. Uh, she has researched a lot of marketing ideas and uses Facebook. So you can find a special for her anytime for Bliss Body Works as are some of the other um, chamber businesses. 
And another great thing about Market Street, I have some things that I've purchased from some of those antique stores that are customized items that you're, you're not going to find in those bigger stores, which is a really unique aspect of having local small businesses that can cater to your you know i also found that uh, some of the small businesses have started selling things that are locally made uh, we have a gentleman that makes belts uh, we have another gentleman that does some etching on i think metal and glass and things like that that he sells out of one of our shops so that's <laughs> nice too that our our members are actually helping those other people sell their products. That is great. What are you seeing in regards to, we're getting close to Christmas. People sometimes wait to the last minute to purchase. Are you seeing more specials during, you know, as we approach the, the Christmas day? Yes. Um, I know in particular, one or two businesses do the 12 days of Christmas. I think that's up to the 24th. So they're, they're advertising their um, sales, you know, this week. And oh, that's a great idea. Tell us a little bit more about that. Well, they go on Facebook. They each have their own uh, Facebook page. And the chamber tries to share their information. Once we see it on Facebook, we'll try to share it to our site. We actually have, I, I'm not that great on Facebook, but uh, we have a page and we have a a. Uh, also an account and one of them is just for members so we can put just the member information on that site and then the other is for anybody and we also have a website too okay great so on your website and your facebook page there is is there a hashtag that you want to share with people so if they're out there shopping small in the metropolis area is there something specific they can they can tag so that people, their friends, their family that are following them can see the information. Yes, yes. and I believe one of our uh, one of our businesses that purchased the Metro dollars has done a hashtag, and it also asks that they post when they go into a local restaurant or business to purchase things. And um, when I think they did a drawing of every week or every day, whatever they decide to do um, based on that information that people have provided to them on Facebook. Well, we love those Metro dollars. You know, at Legion's Bank, we get asked a lot and Jess can attest to this to support businesses, nonprofits, silent auction items. And so what we like to do is we like to purchase items or provide those Metro dollars and allow people to support those small businesses while giving them something that ties into the theme from Legion's Bank. So we, we think that's a great idea and I appreciate you all continuing to support that option for people. And now more than ever, Kathy, and you can you know, re-emphasize re this for me, even if you don't feel comfortable getting out with COVID and you're continuing to follow safety measures and we hope everyone is staying safe and healthy, then now's a great time to purchase those Metro dollars and or gift cards and they can utilize them later on in 2021 when things get a little bit better and they are able to go out. And I know some people like to touch and feel those items in the store versus ordering online. So there's still options for everyone. Yes, there is. Very much so. Well, Kathy, as we wrap up today, is there anything else you'd like to share that Metropolis is doing to support those small businesses as we as we focus on shopping small for the holidays? Yes, we do. Um, our tourism director was, I'm not going to say not busy, but she, she lost a bunch of her things that she did this year. We had our celebration have to be canceled, and then we had um, the Fort Massac has an encampment that's a huge uh, tourist attractor. So she has been very helpful in making sure that we put on our website, our Facebook pages, the uh, loans and grants that are out there for, for businesses to try, to try to apply for. Unfortunately, the one that uh, was through the city of Metropolis, I'm a little disappointed because the state is not very quick on getting that money. Uh, to our businesses, not to, not to say anything bad, but 
um, but the small businesses are struggling this year, especially those that had to close down for a couple months. And they need us, you know, I, I've said this in a couple of our other talks with chambers. We seek our businesses so often throughout the year to help support our children, to help support nonprofit organizations. And now it's time to give back to those small businesses. We need them to thrive. We need them to be successful. And we're so blessed to have these opportunities in the communities that we live in. So we just want to encourage folks, shop small, lots of great ideas and items that you're just not going to find other places. And if you want to keep it personable during Christmas time, this is the way to go. So thanks for joining us today, Kathy. I'm going to pass it off to Jess and, and let her wrap us up. Okay, thank you. Like Trisha said, thank you, Kathy, for joining us today. And we want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. And as you're finishing up that last minute Christmas shopping, be sure to hashtag Legions Loves Local and shop SI. Thank you.